So we were telling you about uh, Katie Porter. Um, she is the representative who's been making the rounds lately. She was on uh, Bill Maher's show this weekend. Joined by Piers Morgan, <laughs> where uh, Representative Porter decided to mock their age. Oh, gosh. Okay, to do something for the likes, you know, that disease that happened to America, that every kid has to do something for the likes, I just think our kids are not mature. Well, I think they're, they're constantly seeking affirmation. This is because of things like Instagram. It's, it's, it's a like you, put, you post something and people validate you. But so to they, use they national security can secrets can for that? Asked? Well, because yeah, but the, isn't, the, the yeah, level but, of yeah, bad judgment. Right, but the real scandal you guys is not that he sound wants to do it. Isn't kind it? of old. What? <laughs> Are immature. <laughs> That's why they're kids. Not, not at 21. Not all yes, over the world. 21 I, years old. They're immature. You. That's why we don't well, let you're them used, drink you're, until they're 21. That's why some of us don't think that 20 year olds or 19 year olds ought to be able to go get AR 15. How about fight. vote? I they think should be voting. They can be in the army. Well, I think that's a, a discussion oh, we should have because I think they the more vote. we know about the I, I thought if you vote, you should be able to be, Thank you. have a certain level of maturity. They're deciding whether you mm -hmm. should be in Congress or not. Ooh, well, I, and, I, and by the way, I win those votes. What? And I'm, I win those votes, and I'm proud of it. Mm. But I, what I'm so saying is, you just said you win the votes of the immature. Well, but the immature. <laughs> yeah. First off, immaturity is not necessarily an age thing. You can be immature well. But you just into played the adulthood. age card. Yeah. You were like, our argument sucks because we're old, right. which is no, so. I didn't say that. I that's said getting so sounded. boring. And by the way, I'm only no 58. Kidding. Just for the record. That's yeah. um, what? I mean, but shouldn't, shouldn't not young. <laughs> Shouldn't we critique each other on the content of our ideas, not on those identity <laughs> politics? Things like, you're old. You couldn't possibly have the right idea. <laughs> yeah, I really hate that argument, too, because uh, anything you're opposed to that, you know, has happened socially or online in the last 25 years, you can't relate to it because you're uh, a you're, boomer. Yeah, you're too old. <laughs> no, I, I can still discern right from wrong. And I understand that when kids are getting dopamine hits from just, you know, having the like button pushed for them, uh, you, that could be a problem. And it is a problem. Look what's happening to our youth now. Uh, wow. Uh, she's hideous. Yes. That's the word. And uh, she's been the congressional face of uh, opposition to swimmer Riley Gaines lately. So weird. You know, Riley Gaines is the, she's a real powerhouse, and she's been really crusading uh, to protect women's sports. Mm -hmm. It's not transphobia. She's not afraid of people who are trans. She just doesn't think they should be competing against biological women. Oh, what a crazy. What a crazy idea, Boy, she right? sounds old. <laughs> Riley Gaines uh, with that take. Yeah, doesn't she? <laughs> what is she, 22? 23? <laughs> uh, so here's what she said about Gaines and trans women in women's sports. We should be able to have a civil debate. Nobody, including Riley Gaines, who I disagree with strongly, should be... Should what do you physically... disagree with out of interest? Um, I... Th I think that it should be up to sporting bodies mm. to make the decisions about who but and how should compete. What has she said compete. that's actually wrong? Yeah. I think that what she has done is try to turn this... We talked about people you know, becoming, using things to kind of get likes and get clicks. That's not what she's doing. Mm. It's I mean, not? I, I've got no truck for right against yeah. personally, but all I've seen her do is stand up for women's rights to fairness and equality. Well, she, okay, has so she, the, she actually competed oh. against Leah Thomas, and it was obviously unfair. Mm -hmm. Leah Thomas won one of the races in the NCAA championships by 50 seconds against a bunch of biological females who simply couldn't keep up. That cannot be right. It cannot be fair. That is something right. that you I old. trust. I think our sporting bodies should be dealing with. And by the way, Riley is speaking up for herself. And that is her prerogative, and I respect her free speech. I think she's speaking well, up for pretty don't. much every female athlete in the world. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I mean, wasn't that, wasn't that the point of Title IX? 
Yes. Title IX in the early 70s was yeah. something that was a, mm -hmm. it was a major event in feminism, that we mm -hmm. finally have this law that says at colleges, right, and I think high schools too, but definitely colleges, women women's sports have to be given equal to men's sports so that women aren't get you know, mm -hmm. and this led to the WNBA and lots of other stuff. This seems to be the opposite of that. It seems to be so many instances, I think, where wokeness is the opposite of what I grew up as liberalism. Right. Liberalism was let's give the women an equal shot. And meanwhile, this is let, let's meanwhile, put a male in the in the swimming pool right, with the women. I don't get it. It's crazy. And meanwhile, trans people who genuinely want to compete at athletics and swimming or whatever it may be, they they're the ones who are suffering here. They need to be found a way to compete fairly and justly. Well, what's your answer then? I think there's one or two answers. I think they either compete against their biological sex, mm -hmm. as many of them did before, mm -hmm. or you create an entirely new category. So that's, that's what we've said. That's what we've said a million times. And they're able to compete fairly. But yes. what you cannot do is continue to allow more and more trans athletes to start decimating women's records. It, Thank in you. some cases, irrevocably. It's just not fair. Yeah, that's exactly right. Boy, they put her in her place, didn't mm -hmm. they? So great. What a what a strange world where common sense is this crazy idea to these people like Katie Porter. Yeah. I just I can't understand Radical this world. And extreme. Incredible. It, it truly is. Speaking of sports, here's an interesting chart that was sent our way. Oh. And it shows a, a fascinating trend that's going on. Oh, no. Um, let's, can we see the oh, is this, uh, can we see the chart? This would be what? Injuries? Testicular injuries. Oh, my goodness. Among female athletes. It's just skyrocketing. It's off the charts. Uh, look at that. Uh, that is, I mean, it's gone straight up. Straight up. Since what 2021 ish yeah, in there at, somewhere? But I mean, look at that. I mean, it, it was but it practically was zero. None. It was almost none uh, from 1900 all the way to 2000. It had a little bit of a rise. <laughs> a little rise, yeah, and then it's just and then crazy. It's just These off are the charts. Testicular now. injuries among female athletes. <laughs> Something changed. I wonder what happened. I don't know. I don't know. That's really weird. Apparently, they wore their jock straps before now, or is that what protected yeah, them? I don't know. And now they've just decided I'm not going to wear one. And risky, y'all. That. That's risky, and see what I happens. I should have said athletic supporters. <laughs> um, that's a kinder, gentler uh -huh. term, perhaps. Yeah.